If you're looking for a first easy step to optimize your reports, then you want to make sure that you remove all of the columns that you don't need for your report. And also that the level of detail that you have in your data model matches the level of detail of your visualizations. Now the group by feature can help you do this. Let's have a look how it works. Now let's start off by creating a simple matrix visualization. So I'm gonna go over here to the visualizations, choose the matrix visualization, and I'm gonna visualize the sales amount. And I want to break it down by customer. So take customer and put it onto the visualization, which gives me the sales amount by customer. Now here you see we have two rows, one for Stark Industries and one for Wayne Enterprises. Now let's see the underlying data set. Now in this table, we have the customer, either Wayne Enterprises or Stark Industries. We have the sales order number, the sales order line number, and over here, a few value columns. Now for the visualization that I have in my report, I don't really need all nine rows and I also don't need all of the columns. What would be enough is that I keep the customer column and the sales amount column and then aggregate it to the customer level. And that's exactly what the group by feature does. Now let me show you how that works. Let's go here to transform data and open up Power Query. Then you can go here to the home tab and choose group by here or you go to transform and on the left hand side they also find group by. And then here we have the choice if we want to do a basic group by or advanced uh, group by. Here I usually switch to advanced straight away. And here we have to choose a grouping and our aggregations. Okay, so the grouping that we want to have is the customer. Okay, we want to group by the customer. And then we want to have another column for the sales amount. Okay, so here we have the sales amount. The operation that we want to perform is a sum and we want to take the sum of the sales amount column. Okay, now let's see what gets returned. I'm gonna press okay. And you see it removes, first of all, all of the columns that I don't need for my report. And at the same time, it also rolls up all the rows at the level of the customer. So it aggregates them to the customer level. And this is basically all I would need for the report that I'm creating. Now let's say at some point you want to show a little bit more detail and you also need the sales order number. Well, in your visualization, you could just take the sales order number, put it also here on rows, and then we can expand down and you see all of the sales amount by sales order number. So we added more detail to the visualization. Now we can match the level of detail in our data set by going back to Power Query and then I go back to the group row step, click on edit. And here I switch again to advanced and I add another grouping. And now I'm gonna add a grouping for sales order number. Now let's then click on okay. And you see, we have another row. Instead of two rows, we now have three rows because Wayne Enterprises placed two orders, okay? Now this table would now match the level of detail that I have in the table visualization in my report, okay? Now you might be wondering, why are we really going through all of this effort using the group by feature in Power Query if we can leave all our data as it is and just drag and drop the fields into our visualizations and it aggregates it for us? Well, the reason is that if we group it beforehand, we are slimming down our data model, we have less columns, we have less rows, and our Power BI report will be much more efficient. Now in our example, we just have a small data set with eight columns and nine rows. But just multiply this with a million, then you would go from nine million rows and eight columns to a final result of three million rows with just four columns, okay? And that is a much smaller data set that Power BI has to store in a data model and your report will be more efficient. Now let's have a look at another example. So here we have a chart that shows the sales amount over time by different quarters and years, okay? Now in the underlying data set, we have 171,535 rows. Now let's use the group by feature to remove all of the columns that we don't need and aggregate it to the right level of detail. So I'm gonna go to transform data. Okay, so here in Power Query, we want to group by the date, okay? So 
not just the date but the quarter and the year now this column is not there okay so i first have to create it and the way to do it is to go to your date column and then go to transform we want to do a date transformation where we want to take the quarter but always the start of the quarter okay and once you have done that you then go to transform group by and let's also switch to advanced and then over here we're gonna have a grouping by the date key okay and the column that we need is the uh, sales amount column okay so that's the one that we used for our visualization where we just sum the sales amount then click on okay and you see we are just left with 10 rows and two columns now i'm going to load that to my data model and you see also now in my data model i have a much smaller data set with just two columns and 10 rows i'm going to switch to the report view you see my sales visualization still works however the underlying data set now matches the level of detail of my report visualization and that will make my power bi report much more efficient if you like this content then give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel and i hope to see you in the next video